there's the problem and there's the solution oh I love your optimism oh you'll do it come on well good morning good morning on today's episode of Casey and Grumpy do things we're gonna go try to use a little f-350 to pull out a big old stuck dump truck so not quite sure how it's gonna go we're gonna have to do some thinking I'm sure or we're gonna come home with our tail between our legs but no 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 I like your confidence but we're gonna do it we'll, we'll figure out something how much the truck weigh I don't know a lot more than this thing I don't even know if it's loaded or not because I wasn't smart oh, enough okay. I wasn't smart enough to ask that question when I told him yeah well come on out <laughs> Okay, well. So we're like totally flying blind on this one. All right. We'll go do it. Hey, this has got dual zone climate control like the fancy new tracks. Yeah. And it doesn't have cup holders because it's so off road that the cups wouldn't stay in the holder. Oh, I don't think they would. No. So for you that commented on the rough ride, that's half the fun. <laughs> this is where we turn off the road. Oh, is that part of his construction company? Not sure, but I guess this is where we turn off the road and then about two miles out this trail. Here we go again. Off the road. So for those of you who always like to comment about how dirty the floorboard of my truck is and there's always dust on the dash and I should clean it, we live in the desert. Clean vehicles aren't a thing. You know what the good news is? Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, we have to drive out here, bounce around the tow truck, but we aren't the ones who had to drive the dump truck out here. Oh, man. And here is our stuck dump truck. Oh, they're building a pad back there. They're building a house. Let's go take a look at this. Yeah. This ash sand is so bad for as soon as you break into it, it just blows yeah, it away. This be a problem. Oh yeah, boy, it did, huh? It's twisted out. Okay. Well, the front end's down a little bit too. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Um, we know how to do it. We do? Yeah. You want to tell me? Because I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, we just leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of pulling on the front, I'm going to tail wrap the back so that we're pulling not just straight forward, but pulling these to the side too to try to bite into the side some more. Because th this has no weight on it. So if, we're, if we tail wrap the back and pull like this, we'll be pulling weight over onto this side as we're pulling forward. The worst case scenario, we put the put kinetic rope on the front there with the tow truck pulling, and I put a big load on it, and then go with the kinetic rope and see if we get it to bump forward. So I did that a little bit with the two with the F three fifty, and I, uh, I can put twenty thousand pounds or so of pull onto it with this, and then do that with yeah, the, that, that would, yeah, that might. We'll try just pulling it and see. You want to fire it up, get air built up? Yeah. And all get spun around. You gonna turn around? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> crossbar to hold ourselves in place we're using the spade that's back here. Yeah, I like that. Right, put it here. 
line is going to run off of that to a yanking rope so that we can put some stretch into it. If I can put a load on this and stretch it, then pull on the other one so it should come out. moving That's not really easy. Keep going So this right here is where I realized we have a problem and the back left brake is locked up and the tires aren't turning So I let off with the rear winch and just gave everything I had on that front winch with the Yankum rope just to drag that truck forward out of the hole so you can see right here where that back one is just locked up and dragging and all the other ones are spinning trying to pull it out. That's most likely why this truck got stuck in the first place. So since this truck clearly isn't going to drive out of the soft stuff on its own with that locked up brake, I just left that one inch yanking rope hooked to the front, pulled the tow truck up front, and I'm just going to drag him out to the hard pack driveway. So if you watch close, you'll be able to see it spin a little bit, then lock up for a bit, then spin and lock up again. So there's definitely something not going on inside that brake truck. So if you look right here, you can see skid mark, tire mark, skid mark as that wheel was locking up and then rolling again, heading out the driveway. I'm going to get you some new steps one day. No, I'm just remembering up to give him. Just would you relax? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome, bud. It did it. I had my no. doubts, but it did it. So I get a lot of questions about using the, the Yankum ropes with the winch lines. And yes, that is a dangerous thing to do because you're just adding a ton of recoil to a winch line. But in that situation, we're at two different winches going. By having the Yankum rope on the front pull, I could put a bunch of pull on the front. Are you still having trouble over there? No. Okay. I could put a bunch of pull on the front of the truck and then concentrate on that back line that was pulling up and over on the truck and just watch that one work that one and know that the front of the truck has a steady pull on it as it comes forward add some more pull to it, leave it there, and focus on the one I really needed to focus on. So the, the yanking ropes are a really good tool for more than just like a running start recovery type of thing. They actually work in a lot of situations. You just have to be really cognizant of the danger of a kinetic rope when used in that type of situation. But it worked. Worked well. Okay, we are back on the pavement. We've got the air conditioning crank back up. 
we got one more stop we got to make before we head home. He doesn't know about it yet. Well, of course, if we're going to come to town, we got to stop at Harbor Freight. Hey, kind of like fueling. I haven't been in since I remodeled. Did you just call Harbor Freight fuel for the soul? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look how much bigger it is now. I'm going to be here probably five hours. I'm okay with that. <laughs> that magnet's to the side and you put all your stuff in there. Look at it, like this. I like to throw it on the bench so I don't have any place to work. Here. We'll just bolt that on the side of the tow truck so you can get in it. Okay, what we came here for is a battery charger. I think this is the one I want. So, you found something more? I found a battery charger and a bunch of other stuff I didn't plan on. Now, what I need the battery charger for. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I have a top secret project coming up that I need a battery charger for, and I realize I do not own a battery charger. Uh, you guys are not going to be able to see that till like middle of next month because the product at the center of this project uh, isn't released to the public yet even though I've had it for like two months uh, testing it. And they want me to do a review video on it but of course I'm not going to do quite the review they wanted to do because I went completely off the rails with how I'm going to review it. But yeah, it's going to be a cool little build project that's going to involve some outdoors fun and a battery charger. So uh, middle of next month you'll see that. So should we get out of here before we spend all our wives' money? All right, let's go. And the day in there no problem. <laughs> because then I would be broke. And There'd be no divorced, reason to go home. I'd be broke, divorced, and I don't know what else. I'd probably be happy, though. <laughs> like I said, it's a spiritual experience. <laughs>